Hey guys, welcome back to the video. So we have ended up launching our very first weekend site project. It's called practicegmat.com. You can go check it out. We pulled it off in a very short span of time. And uh, if you are giving the GMAT exam or if any of your friends are giving the GMAT exam, I would highly recommend you to sort of check it out and see if that's something you'll be interested in. Uh, a lot of this front end was done with Claude. And once you log in, this is what you'll be able to see. So the GMAT exam has three sections, quant, which we call math, verbal, and data insights. Um, you can go to the dashboard to create a new session. So each session is like a practice session. So you can choose which section you want to sort of focus on. So say I want to do quant. You can choose how many questions you want to practice on a particular day. So say you want to practice 10. And then you can choose how many hours do you want to give yourself. So say I want to give one hour. And then once you answer, you'll be able to sort of see an explanation and all of that. I think one of the hard parts was to figure out LaTeX. So a lot of these formulas are written in LaTeX. And uh, while we were, you know, compiling and sort of putting out the questions, uh, ChatGPT was throwing a lot of errors in this LaTeX because uh, so, so you had to like go and manually correct a lot of these LaTeX that took a lot of time. Uh, but yeah, um, once you finish all your questions, it also gives you a summary of which questions were right, which questions were wrong, and a bunch of things like that. What else? There's You can also like resume your previous practice sessions. So say you're done with one of the practice sessions. You can just like resume if you left it in left it midway. Um, and you can see all your previous practice sessions also here. If you want any feature requests or if you want something new to be added here, our email ID is given in the contact us form. You can just email us here. And that's pretty much it. Uh, we also had this login logout functionality. There's a payment gateway for which we use the Razor Pay API. There's a Google sign in thing that we added. Uh, small, small things. Wasn't didn't wasn't like that complicated of a project, but it was super interesting to build it, especially with so many AI tools out there. So in this video, I'll be talking about how we came up with the idea, what we did after coming up with the idea, and it's just gonna be a short overview about it. In the next two videos, we'll be covering in detail how we designed the entire platform and how we coded out the entire platform. So those are gonna be the next two videos. This one is just gonna be a short overview, right? So the, let's cover the first one, which is how did we even come up with the idea? Like, why is this a side project idea worth pursuing? So honestly, for us, we were just chilling with some of our friends and a bunch of our friends are planning to give the GMAT exam and they were finding it hard to get past GMAT papers, right? Which were like questions which were asked in other GMAT exams. And then uh, we were like, hey, look, it's present on the internet, but it's scattered all over the place. It's in multiple places. What if we build a tool which gets all of them together and puts them in a nice, beautiful interface? So that's how we came up with the idea. Nothing fancy. All right, so there are three things that we have kept in mind while building this project. The first one is simplicity. Now this is GMAT. There are a lot of courses, companies out there which provide a lot of solutions to problems like these. But for us, the problem was very specific. Our friends were finding it hard to find past GMAT questions. So a solution is also very simple. It's just a platform which provides past GMAT questions, doesn't have any of the other features. And neither do we intend to build like a GMAT company in the future. So our problem is very specific and so is our solution. And we've kept everything simple. So no ads, nothing, no fluff, just few buttons and a very simple user journey. So that's first, simplicity. Number two is we've put a paywall behind it. So it costs 1000 rupees to access. And there's a reason why we haven't kept it free. If your product is truly valuable, people will pay for it. And I think that, hey, if we have done a good job, then hopefully people will pay for it and not really complain about it not being free. So that's why we've kept a paywall to check if we have actually ended up building something so valuable that people are ready to shell out 1000 rupees. And uh, that's the reason we've kept a paywall. And we believe that truly great products should have a paywall um, if, if it's actually useful for your consumers. And even we wanna test out. If people don't pay for it, then we've built a bad product essentially. The third one is being open. There's a high chance this might work out or a high chance this might not work out. We should be open to possibilities and not really have hopes. Ultimately, we can have all the opinions that we want to, but the answer will be only given by the market, which is how people use the product, will people pay for it, and all of those things. So that's what ultimately matters. And uh, we should be open to successes, we should be open to failures as well. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. I hope you support the platform. Do check it out, do give some feedback, do refer it to your friends who are giving the GMAT exam. That'll mean a lot. And um, glad that you're following the journey until this point. 
I hope you keep following and thanks so much again. Take care. Bye. Have a nice evening. Nice day.